Hey guys, what is going on? It's Man and here today. Um, I do have a new intro. I'm still working on it. This is kind of the template I used off of YouTube. It is After Effects. And the credit to the creator of this template should be down in the description. Uh, just to let you know, this is probably not my final template or not my final intro. I will be looking for more templates. It's just my uh, other intro, my old intro is getting a little bit boring to myself. And I know it's time to switch it up. So uh, here we go. I'm going to switch it up and we'll see how that goes. Anyways, the other thing is... Uh, if you guys still don't know, Onyx or Hyper City and Double Strike and uh, all the other Double Clans and all the I other Hyper Clans have merged into two current clans, which is uh, Onyx Forge for level 85 plus and Onyx Blaze for level 75 plus. It's like a feeder for Onyx Forge. Now, Double is going to be working on Onyx Blaze. He's going to get that clan to permanent 50 out of 50. Um, and then we're going to probably create another feeder clan. And, then and after that, we're going to expand the family of Onyx Forge. Uh, now, I also know that Dove Wars creating another channel for like Minecraft and other games because his main channel, just like my channel, if I would post some other gameplay right now, probably gonna receive a lot of hate. So, I just want to give a shout out. It's Hubba Dubba and it's down in the description uh, as well as all the other links. So, check out his other channel. I just want to make sure I promote it because he mentioned me in his video. I want to return the favor and mention him. All right, so I do I do know that there's a huge lack in uploads, and I think I've mentioned this in the past three videos. I I'm still trying to somehow create these videos over the weekend, but I'm just not getting it done. I have other stuff on the weekends to do, and it's not the greatest excuse. But let me just give me some time, and I'm gonna try to work out the schedule so that um, I actually have videos for the whole week. Because I can't record with a display recorder, so it means that if I'm in the car or somewhere, I can't just boom, hit record and start rating. Same thing with my iPad. It's on iOS 7. It's not jailbroken, and screen recorder uh, or record my screen doesn't work on it. So once again, I'm forced to sit on my laptop and raid. And the best raids are either really, really early, early in the morning, which is not a choice for me because of school and kind of late at night which is another uh problem so therefore i'm forced to do it on the weekends so i'm thinking once i get enough footage i'll go ahead and uh you know be able to throw some stuff together and make good commentaries so um now you notice the sound is here i wonder if you guys like the sound to go in the background of my commentary or not i make sure to keep it low so you can hear my hear me i know it's a little bit off sync but most of the times it's actually good Sometimes you'll see like the mortar fire and then the explosion will be a little bit off and that's because of it's kind of airplane and airplane is a little bit funky. It's over the internet, it's through your router instead of directly uh, recording your screen on your iPad. So, But once the jailbreak comes out, I'll be more than glad to go back to um, Display Recorder, which is my top favorite recorder because it's jailbreak, it's perfect quality, it's HD quality. I'll actually be uploading in 1080p instead of 720p because I know the quality will look amazing. Anyways, today we have a, a pack of, let's see, five raids. The last raid would just be amazing. It's like 300-something thousand to Elixir, and 247,000 gold is just packed. It was awesome. Uh, I did find them at night, so that's why I'm realizing that, hey, I got a raid at night, I got to record at night. So, uh, this base, horrible, horrible design, just double walls. I just really don't like it, and I took advantage of it. Pretty much wiped it all out. I uh, got a star so that I don't lose trophies, and I'm trying to stick somewhere in the 1,700 range. I'm actually going to go and push up to 1,800 because it seems like some of my members in Onyx Forge are saying that that is a cool range for Town Hall 9s, and I'm a Town Hall 10, so that especially means that I should move up there. Now, in terms of my base, I've been jamming so, so hardcore. <laughs> um, pretty much I'm trying to cash out my, uh, what's it called, free my app apps which is uh, like a service that where you download apps and you get credits. I'm just trying to catch it out because I used to have like 456,000 credits on there, which is a lot, a lot in iTunes cards. And I'm kind of trying to cash it out because I realized that, you know what? If the service shuts down the next day or something happens to it, these are virtual credits and I won't be able to get them back. Uh, and if I do, it will be very hard. So I'm trying to cash it out so that I don't have to worry about that. And what I've been spending it on is my walls. So now my base is all level 9 walls. It's kind of cool. It's pretty expensive. I think I spent about $500 doing that. Not out of my pocket. Once again, I call it sponsored because uh, it kind of is. All right, It's not out of my pocket, so therefore it's sponsored. And it's, it's cool. 
Uh, but I'm gonna try to hold back on it. I'll be still getting the cards, I'll be still redeeming them, but I'll be keeping them in a spreadsheet just in case I need them for the giveaways or something else. Uh, once again, for the purposes of what might happen tomorrow, if anything happens to that service. Uh, hopefully nothing happens, but you never know. So, uh, here's another cool raid. Uh, this is a Town Hall 9. We already got the Town Hall. I see a lot of hybrid bases like these, and hybrid bases are just like Town Hall inside and storages inside. And a lot of them like to place the Town Hall kind of in the corner. And what that pretty much says is, hey, if you really want to get the Town Hall, you're probably going to have to go full out or spend half of your army. And therefore, um, these are pretty cool bases. Uh, they do win you trophies, but they're not going to get you super high. Uh, I personally like just strictly farming or strictly trophy pushing. I'm just that type of guy. So anyways, 178,000 elixir and 50,000 gold. Now, 218,000, or excuse me, not 1,000, <laughs> 218 dark elixir and... Uh, this video footage right here, you see I have 72,000 Dark Elixir, and in the next video, I'll go ahead and actually upgrade my Barbarian King to level 19. Yep, we're getting up there. Um, I think level 40 Barbarian King is like, you're like maxed out Dark Elixir storage, which is 200,000 at level 6 storage. That's crazy. I think it's like $100 just to get like 200,000 Dark Elixir, and... It's it's really crazy, and then to boost like the days that it takes, I think that's another hundred dollars. So like a total of three hundred to four hundred dollars just to get a Barbarian King or Archer Queen to level forty, which is just crazy. I think it's like the two minor additions to the game that really really boosted um, the amount of revenue for the game. It's quite amazing of what just two troops can do uh, to the game. So okay, so this base. It's got a lot of split storages, so it's all over the place, but I kind of noticed that the storages over where I'm deploying troops right now, there's two of them that are pretty close, there's some gold to take. So you know what, I'm like, let's go ahead and attack that side, I'm sure I can get 50% uh, of it, so that's a good thing, and as you see, that is working just fine for me. Uh, now my Marcher Queen and Barbarian King have been helping out so much, uh, and it's just crazy. So, I took out the two storages on the top, and I have one more remaining on the bottom, which is right outside the walls. And I don't think I'll be able to get it, but I got most of it. So, we end up with 180,000 elixir. Not as much as dark elixir that I wanted, but um, a cool amount of gold, so that's good. Now, here's this huge, super pumped up raid, like raiding at 11 uh, p.m. on Saturday or something. And we're just pumped up on golden elixir, like I think it's like over half a million in both combined. And the storages, you know, or not the storages, the uh, storages are actually empty. And everything we need is right outside the walls, and it's lined up for us. Just the mo one of the most perfect bases you can find to farm off of. The other thing you can ask for is to <laughs> spread out the storages in the corners. That would just be awesome, but hey, I can't uh, complain about this one. Uh, boom, 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 and I have it. So right now I'm going to try to get 50%. Shouldn't be too hard because the base just honestly sucks. Uh, I don't know what's going on with the clan castle and those like triple walls. Like I've seen double walls. I haven't seen triple walls lately. Uh, that's something new. Uh, so I guess I'll be looking out for quadruple walls. Uh, that will be interesting how people do that. Anyways, uh, it looks like it's going to be pretty easy to wrap this one up. I uh, do have Barbarian King Archer Queen, which will probably be used to take... The Archer Queen will probably be used. I don't know about the Barbarian King. Uh, yeah, it looks like we're going to take out the mortar and maybe one of the cannons or the storage. And uh, that should do it. So just going to wait out on that. It's cool because the Archer Queen actually doesn't take any damage on this one. I was pretty lucky with that. The Barbarian King, unfortunately, is too slow and too fat. Didn't make it this time. <laughs> All right, so 240,000 gold and 316,000 elixir. And that's going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Once again, the video intro will change over a few times. I'll be putting them up. And you can also leave your opinion about the intro in the comment section. Be honest about it. Um, be rough about it. Uh, I want to know your honest opinion because I don't want to have an intro that will go on and you guys don't like it. So I want to make sure you guys like it. That's all I'm saying. Uh, by the way, uh, Dover mentioned in his video that there's a vote going on for the iPad Mini. I know a lot of people have also been messaging me about it. And uh, yeah, the vote will be going on for I don't know how many days. I think we'll keep it down to two weeks. And you can go ahead and visit this link. There's three links in the description. It's Dover's channel. Um, the link to the website where you can vote for the iPad mini, all the instructions are on there. And at the beginning of the video, I think I mentioned, oh yeah, credits to the guy who made the following template to the intro. Uh, so that's all guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Like it up, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace.